Nicole Comet coming at you from Weatherford, Texas. Make sure to subscribe. I do have some notes here that I've been wanting to talk about. Um, number one, don't forget God's mercy is new every morning. And every morning is new, right? That means every morning is new. Honestly, one of the secrets of the kingdom is every second can be new. So if you are going one direction, you can instantly shift your mind and go the opposite direction if you're not in the right place in the right mind okay so you can switch it okay and um one thing i wrote here don't be led by your emotions stop being led by your emotions you're supposed to be led by the holy spirit right so we've got to think, are the words that are about to come out of my mouth, are they going to harm somebody? Is the post I'm about to post, is it going to harm somebody? Okay, we've got to be aware of our actions. What are we doing? We've got to check our heart. We've got to take a moment, step back, get the big picture, and check our heart. And what I'm writing right now, is it going to benefit somebody or is it going to take away? Is it going to hurt someone's heart right now? Do you want to be somebody that hurts somebody? So really, a lot of the time, we should, when we're about to post something, we should step back and say, okay, wait a second. Is this valuable? Is this going to help that person? Can I remove these words? These words that seem a little bit harm, harmful? Do I really need to go that way? Back up. Take a moment to think. Am I going to hurt somebody right now? It's very important. Especially if you're a leader. If you're leading a group of people, you need to lead by example. Okay, so be careful with your words. Your team is watching you. If you're a leader, which let me tell you every single, if you have a child, you are a leader. If you have one person on your team, you are a leader. Okay, you are a leader. If you have anybody who looks up to you, you are a leader. Your children, your grandkids, they're all watching everything you do. They're watching to see if you'll give up. They're watching to see how you react to a situation. And guess what? If you do it wrong, if you do something bad, there's grace. And like I said earlier, every moment can be a new moment. Do not condemn yourself. But shake it off. Shift your mind and change what you are doing. Okay, but only you can change it. So be careful what you're going to post. If you're going live, let me tell you something, okay? If you're wanting to build something great, everyone is watching the words that come out of your mouth. If they're negative, they're down, you're talking smack about somebody they're watching that they're gonna say do I want that person to be my leader so they're watching you everything you do you they're watching you so you want to be the light okay I always say there you're either door of heaven or your door of want want hell but you got to choose what door are you gonna be that's why it's so important to watch your words Watch what you're typing. I believe everybody's going to be held accountable one day for what we type and what we say. And never put your mouth on God's anointed. Never. 
Never. I do not care what they are doing. You pray for them. It says pray for your enemies. Right? You never put your mouth on anyone. It says regard no man of the flesh. That's hard. Especially when people piss you off sometimes. Right? Sorry. I don't know if piss is a, pissed off is a bad word. But Ooh, I used to, I used to, I used to cuss like a sailor. Okay, now I'm worried about, oh, I'm worried about the word pissed, pissed off. Do you know what I'm saying? Be wise. Be gentle. Be gentle. Okay. Do you know that you hold? If you've said yes to Jesus Christ, you hold the Holy Spirit inside of you. He's gentle like a dove. If you took a moment and thought, or let's say you're holding a dove and you have the dove sitting on your shoulder, would you be reckless? Would you run all crazy if you had the little dove sitting on your shoulder? Well, how would you be? You would be gentle, right? Gentle, gentle. You have to be careful what you're doing, what you're saying. You know, I always think about, it. they they made that thing, what would Jesus do? And they made it common because they put it on bracelets and all that and just, but I'm like, really think, what would Jesus do right now? Would Jesus type them ugly words that would hurt his children? No. He would stop. He would get the big picture. And then he would say, am I going to harm somebody right now? Jesus would never harm anybody, right? Are you, are you supposed to be representing Jesus? We all are, right? So you have to be careful. Be wise what you do. Choose good things. Choose not to harm people. Be careful. Be careful. Be careful. You don't want to hurt people. And even a look. Even a look is dangerous. Think, is my face, am I looking crazy? Sometimes I think, dang, you got a, you're, you're tripping. You got a, a ugly look. You better, sh I check myself. Okay, because if you knew me before, I always look mean. Okay? <laughs> Oh, man, God has done a work on this sister, okay? And I still have my moments. I do. Everybody does. Everybody has their moments. But repent. Just repent. And then, repent's not a bad word. Repent, it means to change your mind. Get the big picture. Step back. Change. That's it. Change your mind. People may repent a bad word. It's not a bad word, guys. I repent, Father. I change the way I'm thinking right now. Father, show me my heart today, Lord. Show me if I'm wrong. Sometimes we got to ask. And sometimes we, the light bulb goes on and says, dang, I'm being really ugly right now. But that's powerful when you can recognize it and then you can step back and change it. Right? That's powerful, man. I'd rather you say, I am the man. You're not a man, but I am the one. I did it. I'm so sorry. I did it. I'm so sorry. You know, sometimes we've got to apologize. But you gotta ask, you gotta see it, you gotta see it. Let it be revealed. You know, and sometimes we know, we know when we're being ugly. Just be careful. Just be careful. I love you guys. I love you. I never want to see anybody hurt in here ever. Ever. Okay, we're supposed to be gentle, loving. Let me tell you something. 
and you do something, it's hard to erase it. When you say something bad about somebody, it's hard to erase it. And a lot of stuff, you can never erase it, especially if, especially because of social media. So you have to be very careful, very wise with what you do. Very wise. Okay. Take responsibility for your actions. Because I could tell you right now, I seen a post recently. And it will, and I see it from multiple people. So that means it's being screenshot. So be careful what you put out there. People are watching. How's your character? Check yourself. Are you coachable? Are you coachable? Check your heart. Ask yourself, am I being coachable? Am I, you know, am I doing... Am I being right? You know, like, ask yourself. <laughs> the light bulb will go on. And it's okay, remember? No condemnation. I repent. I change. I change my mind right now. In Jesus' name. <laughs> Don't be led by your emotions. Be careful. People are watching you. Your character. How you react to things. Are you responding or are you reacting? You know, a respond is something you're going to take a moment before you type. What, 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 what did they say? You know, you're like, your fingers are going 100 miles per hour. I can't believe she said that. And you're not even, you're all like misspelly words. And whenever I see a post that it's all misspelled, I know that person is in their emotions. Okay. Be careful. Mama! The music stopped. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, stop, look, listen. Okay, that's what I wrote here. Stop, look, listen. Read the room. <laughs> Read the room. That's what Silly told me one time. It was so funny. I don't know. Somebody did something, and then she was like, they got to read the room, you know? <laughs> That's funny. So we got to be aware of our actions. Okay, are we responding? Which means we take a step back, look at the big picture, you know? Not going all buck wild with your finger so you can give a piece of your mind, your opinion, you know? <laughs> take a moment. Sometimes you need to... Put down the phone and pray. Okay. Um, what else? Be careful what you say. You do not want to destroy anybody because it's hard to win trust back. So you never want to lose it in the first place. Right? You never want to lose trust in the first place. So if you step back. Wait, pray, because anytime you pray, guess who's involved? The Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will give you the direction. Okay, so you stop, look, listen to that still small voice. Mama, press the button, Mama. <laughs> oh my goodness, thank you, Jesus. Um... Daily development. Oh, yeah. Let's talk daily development. Okay. That's huge. I wake up. I pray. Thank the Lord. I'm so grateful. I'm grateful that he's given me this opportunity. I'm grateful that I have a family that loves me. I'm so grateful that he saved this wretch like me. Okay. So grateful for everything. So be grateful. And then... uh Hit a book and listen to a book. Something that is daily development. Something that develops your mind. Gets you out of being stuck. and moves you into your greatness. Something that inspires you. Motivates you. Okay? A true leader will work on themselves. Right.